So, hi, my name's Lisa, and I'm one of the empowerment advisors at Tomorrow's Women. Um, today, we're going to be making some little worry pets. Um, so, the the idea behind these is, um, you know, anytime you're feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit stressed, it's always calming to rub your index finger and your thumb together. So, thinking behind these, um, kids have just gone back to school after a really long time being home. So there could be some separation anxiety there, some stresses. So if you make a little worry pet, um, you can take them to school, keep them in their pocket, and any time they're feeling a little bit anxious, just get them out and just give them a little rub and know that mummy's thinking about them. Um, so really just went down to the beach, picked up some pebbles, nice smooth ones, um, nothing too big because we don't want them going through windows and nothing too small because we don't want anybody to have a choking hazard. Um, so I've pre-painted these little ones here and um, I think we're going to go with the ladybird again here, this little red one. I mean, I'm not very artistic at all um, and I'm sure that some of you out there will be and will be able to do some fantastic pet little pets. Um, but this is just how easy it is to do, basically. How did you find it the first time? So, the first time I did one of these, um, I'll be honest, it looked like my four-year-old niece had had a good go. But that's what they're all about, aren't they? They're about getting together with the kids and letting them make one. Um, oh, here we go, little ladybird, almost. So I've got a little bit of a thing at the minute as well for the little googly eyes. So it's completely up to yourself, you can either draw some little eyes on it, or while your paint's still a little bit wet, just add some little googly eyes. Ooh. So will the googly eyes just go. stick to the paint? So the googly eyes will stick to the paint. Um, but what I've done as well, when they, when these have dried, so this paint, these paints are really good by the way. Um, I got these from Wilkinson's and they were two pound. And as you can see, there's pretty much every colour in there. Um, they dry pretty quickly, so you can it doesn't take long between layers as well. But um, with these one, that's ones that I've already made as well, um, I just got some clear nail varnish, went over it with some clear nail varnish, and then the, the eyes definitely stick then. We say with these ones, as you can see, with the paint, they might not stick on too good, but a little bit of clear varnish, no problem. Um, and I found that, when I found that one, I thought, that is a hedgehog. That is a hedgehog. And there we go, little hedgehog. It's, but you can do all sorts of things. I mean, <clears throat> I've got a little monster, even. It's completely up to yourselves. And the more, say, the more artistic you are, the better. And I'd really love to see how good some of you are with the art on the pebbles. I mean, I've seen some fantastic stuff on the internet, um, but it'd be really interesting. I'd really like to see some pictures of the ones that you've done with your kids. I mean, you can do bigger ones as well and put them in the garden. Um, you know, brighten up the garden, 